Okay, we are in the Baptistry of St. John Lateran. This is actually the pool into which people would have entered and symbolizing by the stags drinking water. This might be the tomb of Constantine. And this is the Baptistry. And for a while, this was the only Baptistry in all of Rome. But this was constructed you know, right after Constantine granted religious freedom to the church, 313. Holy Spirit. Do you want to say anything about this, artistically? Well, it's, it's interesting because it's an eight-sided baptistry. And right from the beginning, Christianity the numbers had symbolic meanings. Right? Three, of course, was the number of God, the three persons in one God. Four was considered the number of all the created worlds, earth, air, fire, and water, mm -hmm. which made seven, and that's why we have seven days in the week. And then this is eight-sided because baptism gives you new life. So baptism is like this. Mm. These are the frescoes depicting various times in the life of Constantine who granted religious freedom. And of course his conversion came in Hoxignum in the sign you will conquer. And we see that here when he was fighting the Milvian Bridge. His mother was a Christian and she encouraged him to follow Christianity. And after that miracle, he put the sign of the cross on all of his weapons. And from that point on, won the war. And next year, declared religious freedom. We're in the baptistry of St. John Lateran Church. These are paintings inside this huge Balbatino, which is part of the construction of the building. And again, we have school groups here enjoying themselves, relaxing mid history. And this is the entrance for the baptistry. We would have gone down here, this would have been filled with water, waist high and then he would have been baptized and become a Christian. And probably still is used for baptisms as the baptismal candle. Papal insignia. Confessional. Enclosed foyer. Oh, beautiful little thing. Okay, we're in a side chapel. Go to the little side of the side chapel. Beautiful sculpture of Jesus. Preghiera o Cristo di Teposto. Amica del mio cuore. Beautiful. There's a chapel over here that has 5th century mosaic. Okay, we're going to another chapel where we have 5th century mosaics. There's a fresco of John the Baptist. Now the walls here are brick. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. Oh, God, what's this? Don't know. Beautiful. Oh. This is the side chapel of the baptistry. 
procession of the saints, very similar to Ravenna. So these are possibly during the same time of Justinian. Walls are holy oils, holy and something. Now they look like Justinians. Well, the fifth century, though, is what okay. the guidebook says. Represented Christ up above from heaven with angels, and then in the center, in the lower part, is Mary in the forward position, praying in the crucifixion. One of the chapels of the baptistry, probably one of the donors of the 18th century, and the altar. Very simple, elegant. Even the, the wood pulpit is made to look like marble. Okay, time for a prayer. Praying for all of you who are watching. Just to have the full effect, the bells are ringing. This is the palace, the Lateran Palace, the oldest obelisk in Rome. And now we're going to enter St. John Lateran from the front. We're here in St. John Lateran. These doors were from the Senate of Ancient Rome, they're bronze. Constantine, this is the foyer of the church, best of you, ceiling, and now we're going to enter, oops, somebody's missing here, we're going to enter, oh, these are beautiful, large crowds, gathering, get an idea, just to see everybody, Christ today, tomorrow, and always. Beautiful. The Jubilee year 2000, these were elected. Beautiful. So these are the holy doors. Holy door. Okay, let's go inside. Nutrista Sangha. Oh, whatever. Okay, we're going into the church. One door, two doors, and you tirare. The third door. Nice and cool. Oh my god, no matter how many times you come, it's magnificent each time. And this is the side aisle. Two side aisles in the nave. Excuse me. The apostles. Oh, Mary. No matter how many times you come, right? Okay, you want to tell us about this building? Beautiful this was begun, the original of this church was begun in 313. Actually, the very first church built after Constantine's was actually just what you see now, and rebuilt over the, 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 the its eras. The main part that we're looking down the nave is mostly the work of the great 17th century architect and sculptor. Just to give you an idea, this gentleman standing below the apostles, you can see how huge and mammoth they are. There is the process, probably a Jude. This 
That's probably Joe Biden, though. Yep. Some Tomazo. Beautiful. That's Monty Cruz. Try to stay with him. Andrew. Giacomo the Major. James the Major. St. Paul. And there's an old tradition that the heads of Peter and Paul are in the upper part of that balcony behind the screen there. You can see the images of Peter and Paul. Peter, Paul. This is not the sanctuary, but it might as well be. It's well into the body of the church. The altar. Which the Pope says mass. This is a Lateran church. So the Lateran palace was the palace of the popes in the third century. It was given to the church by the Laterano family. And now we're going to peek down into the crypt. Here we see the statue of John the Baptist. This recess there below the main altar is called the confession. Church is named this after both Johns, John the Baptist and John the Evangelist. Someone say John Lydon, say yes. So peek into the sanctuary. The guide is touring the apse where the Pope would sit. in the Church of St. John in Lateran, next to the Lateran Palace on the Lateran Hill, named after the Lateranu family. Just show you taking a picture of St. John Acusta. And then we're going to take a look on the side sanctuaries. Ooh, beautiful statue over there. The mosaic Interesting, it's not lit up right now. Sometimes you catch it, sometimes you don't. Okay, the mosaic pictures really, really early concept of Christ in glory, surrounded by angels, the hand of God above him, and from Christ is coming the rivers of life, living water. So, so the deer are drinking the waters that come from Christ. Surrounded by Mary, John the Baptist, and the other saints. Ooh. 
Adesso comincia la messa. Someplace, someplace mess is starting. Probably over there, but we'll catch that later. I'm going to the side chapels, you can't even say side altar. This is still an extension of the sanctuary. It's huge. Pipe organ. Mosaics, frescoes. And the altar of the Blessed Sacrament. Huge tabernacle. Highlighted by the Ascension of Christ. At this little trade here is an old statue of Mary. <clears throat> this wooden statue of Mary, mother of the church, from the Umbrian school, acquired by Pope Paul VI, donated by Pope Francis to this cathedral. Mary, mother of the church. 14th century. We're here in St. John Lateran, one of the mother, the mother church of Christendom, celebrating of faith as we look on the sanctuary and the throne of the Pope. This is Father Louis Scurdy, the Friends of the Word in Lateran Church of St. John. <clears throat> 